Next up, Gratis Gaming, where we troll the cosmos for games with the price tag nothing. Tribes Ascend has been in open beta for a little while now. We've been playing with some of the GGTV community over the last few weeks. Come here, Gus. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! No! Oh, no! Oh, God, so slow. No! No! Ow! No! <laughs> it's a multiplayer shooter featuring three modes. Deathmatch, which is pretty boring. 5v5s, which is thrilling. Are you moved? <laughs> and capture the flag, which is really what this whole game has been designed for. And it does it beautifully. Oh, who grabbed our flag? Oh no, what a shame. Oh, I'm gonna go after him. Yeah, go him. after him, you should go after him. Sadly, I missed the original Tribes games, but I had a great time with this. Yeah, it's had a great mix of old school Quake 3, Twitch, shoot where your enemy is going to be kind of vibe to it. And also reminded me a lot of Halo with those big open maps and the way the models looked. And then I started to ski. Yes, to quote a friend of mine, there's something very special about an FPS that has a speedometer. Skiing is core to this game, and the best description of how you actually gather speed is it's just like that mobile game Tiny Wings. You jetpack up the hills and ski down the slopes. You need to get a good pace if you want enough momentum to grab the enemy's flag without getting smashed by their turrets. Oh, I'm dead. Or being called a llama grabber. There's nothing worse than a llama hex. You're, you're getting a good speed up, you've got a beeline for the flag, then all of a sudden someone just ambles up to it, picks it up, and then gets blasted away, ruining the whole thing. You even get a badge for being called a llama grabber, and the devs tell us that a llama comes from the word lama, and it was an evolution of that, and that's why they call it a llama. Oh man, I want such a good run. And when you have that flag and the music starts to ramp up, it's just like an action film as you race to the other side with a whole army of super soldiers chasing you. Yeah, it's so easy to get distracted out on the field or lost out somewhere in a random firefight. <laughs> it takes so long to unlock all the character classes, though, and I think here is where the devs are hoping to make their money. You can buy almost anything with real-life purchased gold, and you need to spend around $30 if you want to unlock all the classes straight away. It's a shame there wasn't more unlocked from the start, Barjo, but, I mean, you know, it makes sense as a business model, and I think it's fair. Yeah, me too. And you still have to grind away at your favourite class if you want those upgrades. You can't buy them. Now, the original Tribes was based very much around rocket attacks, where you line up your shot and, you know, try and fire where your enemy is going to be. Ascend has a more traditional rifle and hit-scan weapon, so it'll be more accessible and have a larger community because of that, I think. There are heaps of classes, and you can come up with some fun strategies, such as putting a heavy unit right on the flag, so anyone with any sort of speed hitting that unit will actually take damage. Also, the stealth class is a lot of fun. I love sneaking up behind people and just lobbing a sticky grenade on them from, from the shadows. Oh, you're infiltrated, aren't you? <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> and playing with turrets is fun too. I like the focus on keeping your base repaired so vehicles can still be purchased by your teammates. And on the other side, it's exciting bombarding enemy bases. And infiltrating enemy bases to take out their generator is always exciting. Tear it down. Especially when their cavalry arrive to fix it. The kills in this game are so satisfying, and there's a place for these kind of games. There's not enough fast-paced shooters we can just get in, have a quick bash, and get out. Plus local servers to boot. Baja, this already feels like a fully-fledged game, and you know the devs have been constantly updating and changing maps for balance, so it shows they really care about getting it right. Uh, I had a great time with this, I'm giving it eight. They need to fix the friends list, which isn't working quite well at the moment, but other than that, this is the best free-to-play game I've played in a long time. In fact, I think it's the best free-to-play game out there. I'm giving it nine out of ten rubber chickens. Next up, Goose. 